Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. I'm back today to do week 10, golly 10, of the Margaret Miller uh, Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. That is such a mouthful to say, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, my last one, I really had fun with this one because um, it was so bright and I like the bees and so. Anyway, we're going to do 10. I hope to have a little fun with this one. Um, <laughs> hopefully, it'll work out okay. So, uh, I got everything kind of tucked away. How's everyone doing? Good, I hope. The weather here is... Of course, you know I'm doing this late, so we're in September. Somebody kept saying we're supposed to have this drastic weather change. I look at the weather channel and I'm like, uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I just don't see it. So, All right, so we're going to put our planner stuff on this side. Um, the prompt for this week says an illustration. So I got this, mm -hmm. which I think I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do my thing long ways today like that. And then we have a person. Well, I got two peoples, so. But I put these funky little eyeballs on from Amy's kit. I just think they're so funny. And we're going to do some other fun stuff with that. Something round. So I have a stamp that has, like, the world on it. Okay, and then it has a compass that's round. So we could do a couple of those if we wanted. Uh, a sheet music. So I have some very old sheet music uh, from a hymnal. It's all uh, patinaed, so I love it. I wish I could get this stuff to... Uh, I found some uh, hymnals one time before, and I kept the binder, the book uh, shell, so I would remember what kind to get if I could find them again. And I have not been able to find those kind of hymnals, and it's driving me nuts because they have the best paper to avocado dye. This, because it's patinaed, whatever it is that's on here comes off and degrades my dye. So, yeah. And then um, tissue paper, it says the wrapping kind. I think some people were maybe from the first one wondering if it was like nose tissue paper or something. But I have this pretty purple. And um, then, of course, my stamps for my numbers. So we're going to do that today. Um, so, oh, a shoe. Yeah, so there's my shoe. It's a sticker. So we'll have fun. We're going to have fun. And my my darling little bratty butt over here, Uber Duber, is just, she's she's been a brat all morning. So here, she's like, just being a brat. Because she can. Oh, my goodness. So... Anyway, I don't know if she doesn't realize that I'm not talking to her. And I think she thinks I'm talking to her when we're talking. <laughs> oh, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys. So I have been doing my avocado dye. And I'm doing some lace dyeing. Because I know a lot of people are doing it with the coffee and tea and stuff. And I have done that before. Um, so I tried it a couple different ways. And I set it outside with lace. And it does come in. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it's very, very faint. But I didn't like it because it was that faint. Although I've got a big stack of them that are done like this. So I did it the way I was doing it before. So these are kind of, I got some new patterns. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and this is a, a tricky, tricky, it's tricky. Let me just say it because you... Because you got to use, you know, everybody's using those PVC um, tablecloths. You got to be careful because you put them in the oven, it'll stick to your paper too long. Or they'll melt and, and got, I got a couple of them melted and went on my, ugh, it was a mess. Anyway, so I'm still doing those. So I'm not taking pre-orders. Um, once it's done, I'll start loading stuff in the shop. So keep an eye out on Wonder Bar Crafts. On Etsy and it's all one word wonder bar crafts and I'll and the link is normally always in my description anyway and but I'm gonna do some envelopes uh, just some different size envelopes different size um, like you know the big ones 
uh, the long, uh, the long, I think number 10s, I think they are, um, and the small ones. Um, and then I'm going to do some um, CD cases. Some Those have got to be done outside because I can't get the plastic off of it and I can't put it in the oven, obviously. So they have to be air dried. And then, uh, I don't know why this has got like numbers on it, but anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I bought some shipping tags, which those will be fun to do, I think, in both plain and I think I'll do my pack with plain and uh, some lace dye on them. I think those will be pretty. And um, what else? Doilies. I gotta find some doilies. I've been online looking for like different sizes. Um, so the problem is getting them here in enough time before my dye degrades. So I really kind of want to do something cute with this this prompt here. And I think what I'm going to do is put some watercolor. My daughter got me watercolors for my birthday. Yay! <laughs> and I've been itching to play with them, so maybe that's what we'll do with this. Is we'll just get it out for a little bit. And play, play, play. She got me some of these little, you know, water brush pens, the water ones. Um, and then she got me this really nice set. And I have not used it yet, so I'm so excited to use it. And you know how with anything, you always want to keep everything in the box, but I need to, yeah. <laughs> Just an extra added something, right, to have to open and get out and monitor and watch and all that stuff. So I like that this little tray comes out, too, and then underneath it there's a little segment for, like, um, your color, so... Let's see, I think I want to try and do a lavender or a purpley color here. So I think these all come up in a set. You can get them up. There we go. And then out of here you can just pop them out of the back. So I don't know. Let's do a purple like a yellow together with a purple. But let's make it more of a honey than a bright or a golden, too golden. All right, so let's try this. I've not used it, so. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're dripping. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not, like I said, I have not used these. And I haven't done watercolor. I normally do pencils so that I can kind of draw. But I wanted to do a little... I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> My daughter asked me, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, oh, those look good. She said, okay, mom. <laughs> and then they came in the mail. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I do. I love them. So I love the fact that she listens to what you want, you know, not just, you know. Because I try to do the same thing with them. I try to get them what they want and what they'll use versus... You know, okay. Um, I guess I just can put this back in here. See, that's the only thing I, I, I like about a pencil is because you can, you can control your shade. And I'm not really sure how to do that with brushes. I mean, I would imagine you probably have to get some of the <clears throat> paint off. I 
I'm just playing. Just playing. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a painter, <laughs> as you can see. I mean, I like to do, I like trying. You know, I guess that's what you got to do is you got to play and you got to try. And, you know, I like the, the purple and the yellow because I got a purple there. And so I don't know how to clean that. I'm going to have to, I guess, put that in some a water, maybe. I don't know if you guys know how to clean those. Let me know. Because it didn't exactly come with instructions. So, but I seen this and I was like, oh, I like it because it gives me kind of a an array of color, not just one color, kind of, you know, some of them have, oh, they're all pastels or, oh, they're all jewel colors and, or they're all so dark, you know, and me, I'm, I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay. I just want to mix a kind of color. So I have you know and then if i want additional color I'll, I'll i'll buy it you know so why did i put my book up i need my book it's all wet it's all wet so after this video i have to head to springfield i gotta take my brand new machine back in of course, you guys won't see this till Wednesday, but because um, I've already done my videos for Monday, Tuesday, but this will air what Wednesday. So hopefully my machine will be back by then or they'll be able to fix it on the spot because but I'm going to buy another table that it will actually sit in better. And then I did some measurements and I'm like, gosh, darn it. I just bought this craft chair for this. You know for sewing and stuff and because my other one was leaking oil at the bottom and so I had to keep a carpet underneath it but I just I, it was time to get rid of it it was like all creaky and you sat in it and I didn't know when it was gonna break you know <laughs> and when you're already a little chunky that kind of makes you feel even more embarrassed and humiliated when something like that happens so I uh, so I am I gotta go get another table and a chair one that actually fits the machine and will sit right and when I measured it it's actually gonna sit higher and I'm already a shorty, but the chair has, and the table has like a lift for your feet, so you can kind of lift it so that you're not, so you can stay flat-footed and not, you know, feel like I'm leaning off in to la la land and all that, so. Uh, let's put it there. It's not quite dry, so be very careful putting the glue on. I, I'm, like I said, I'm like a kindergartner with watercolors with the paint style like like I said with a with a pen though because I can I, I I'm not a, a professional drawer or anything but I don't do too bad doodling is a little different but when I'm actually got a picture and I'm trying to draw something I can sometimes I can do okay so um I can uh because I like to watercolor that way. All right. So now we've got to start with our prompt. So we've got an illusion. And then a person. So originally I chose this guy. Because I was like, let's go put him here. So it looks like he's like snacking out, you know. Like put it there so he can. Like he's getting a glass or something. Right. Like he's, oh yeah. And then I was going to put her she looks like a little busy body I don't know maybe not and then I was original well I don't know I might still do my original thing like maybe put him there her here but see then he it looks funny because it doesn't look like he's like I'm there I mean, it doesn't really matter. And then I was going to do like, like they were alien 
Because he kind of looks like an alien, don't he? They both kind of do. So that, well, maybe they'll be like attached aliens or something. You know what I mean? Like that. Or maybe they should like hold hands like that. Or I think. And then like that. Right? Hey, whatever. So I like it. <laughs> it's dumb and crazy. Something round, and then we'll put a stamp somewhere. And then my shoe. Where are we going to put the shoe? Should put the shoe like on the table. Like right there. We can put that on the table there. And then, ta da, ta -da sheet music. Where is my sheet music? Have a little sheet music down here. I don't know. This is weird. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, I'm, I gotta take it in because the threader's not working right, and I'm, you know, I'm a little upset because I just bought. I haven't even had it a month, and I mean, I guess I, I, the thing is heavy, and <laughs> my son is not here to help me load it in the truck. So we'll put that there, and. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Tissue paper. Okay, I guess I can put a little back there in the background, right? So, I mean, it happens. It's not like it's, you know, a defective. Well, at least I hope it's not a defective machine. I'll be quite upset. I'm just going to put this, like, as a background color. Is the tissue paper and so but my point is too when you spend that kind of money on a machine <laughs> you don't want it breaking in 30 days you know less than 30 days it's 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 annoying it is a sim probably a very simple fix that he can adjust. I I don't know why it did what it did. Godly, why am I tearing so much off this? <laughs> ah! Well, we're not using that piece. Gosh darn it. In the scrap bin you go. Ay, ay, ay. Timmy's, Timmy's, Timmy's. Where's my ruler? That's, I think, what I needed to do was use my ruler. That's what you probably are all yelling at me, huh? Denise, go to darn tear ruler, use it. I know. Ah, but that don't work either. <laughs> okay. I guess we're just going to do it this way, right? Those little bits can go in the trash. All right. Shoo. Yeah. But I'll be happy again when it's all. Hopefully he can just adjust it all in there. They got to, they have to give me, they're going to have to give me a new um, carrier because it came with it. Well, it didn't actually come with it. It was like extra for it. Um, and so that you can travel with your machine, put it like, you know, if I have to take it in or whatever, I have something to put it in instead of just letting it sit and heck the truck bouncing around. 
so you know in the back seat or whatever and um so yeah goodness come on so then uh the zipper it didn't sit right there's a frame that goes inside of it right that it keeps it squared or rectangular i should say and um the, it didn't fit which you know that's they baby lock didn't make them they had them made but you know still you you spend that kind of money you want it to be quality Things today are just not quality anymore, I don't think. And people don't care. They don't care until they have to deal with it themselves. So, <laughs> yeah. And then when I went to zip it, it doesn't zip all the way. So then when I went to go unzip it, it caught because it's not sitting right in the thing. And it broke the little tab off. So I can't get it unzipped. So huh, I don't get to travel with it in the, in the, you know, I have to lift it separate and partake. It, it's just, it's annoying. And they say they're going to fix it. So, okay. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys will. Find a different manufacturer to make those, you know. And yes, my nails are painted, and no, I don't normally do it. But I find that if I paint, if I put a quick coat of paint on my fingernails before I avocado dye, my nails don't break. Because that avocado dye, will, it dries your hands out. It dries everything out. So my nails don't break. So Not that it doesn't matter, but sometimes, you know, I want a little... Uh, Sometimes it's nice to have a little nail. Looks pretty sometimes, depending. So the beginning part of October, or the first week or so, actually, it'll be like the fourth through um, nine, or the sixth through something, sixth, no, fifth, fourth or fifth of October. I got it. I have to look at my itinerary. <laughs> between there and the 12th i think i will not have videos i'm i may try to i may try to do a few extras to throw in there hopefully i i don't know if i will be done with this or not but if i i'm going to try and do a few videos for that time frame because that's the day uh, that's the week we're going our we had my dad passed from COVID. We were not able to bury him. They made us cremate him because it was so early in that stage that they weren't sure what, you know, if the contaminant, you know, how that was, that whole ordeal. And everybody panicked over it, you know, and whether or not, and we could not do, we could only do, um, we couldn't even have 10 full people at the service. So we had to do, we literally had to pay for two services so that, you know, my dad's wife's family could come um, and uh, visit. So, um, sorry, that was my daughter. I'll have to call her back here a little bit. I'll call her on my way down. Um, but, so then... Uh, So we had him cremated and we've been waiting for, because we're going to bury him, his ashes next to his wife, Donna. 
and uh, that's what they wanted to do. So that is what we're going to go do. And when they finally opened it enough to have, you know, enough people to come uh, to do that. So I think we were trying to, oops. wing I forgot don't why did I do that okay there we go another reason why it's good to have nails <laughs> all right so we're I gotta fly up to um, New Hampshire and uh, my sister lives up there so um, but she's like a, two or three hours from where my dad lived um, but see they his wife was from Mass Massachusetts and um, so that's where she is buried. So, you know, to be able to, because they were kind of on, the, they lived kind of on the border and of Mass and New Hampshire. And so, um, and her family's from Mass. So, uh, anyway, we all needed to make sure we had that time. And then, of course, they did open it up before prior to but it's been so hot we didn't want people you know because her her parents live out that way and they, they're still living and so we wanted to make sure that um they were able to come and they are older so you know there's the concern of the heat and the covid and all that stuff so we just wanted to make sure that everything was hunky-dory to do this so, for everyone and then we also had to make sure we had enough time uh, selected and scheduled for the honor guard to come because my dad was a vet. So. I don't like that white void there. I don't know why it was bothering me. That little white void right there was bugging me. Oh. Okay, so there's a shoe. And we need circles, right? Circle, circle, circle. So I finally got some of the things in for my for my die cuts so those are all put away and then I've got some envelopes coming to be able to store my stamps and my stencils in put those away those will be nice okay what color ink let's do a we kind of got a purple and a teal let's kind of do this I don't know if this evergreen is broken china looks good Kind of a tealy color. Let's make sure though. Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Okay. All right. I'll let that dry because that ink is wet, wet there. All right, and then let's put a little compass 
on there. Okay, which way is north? Does it say? It doesn't say. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and then I can't put it on backwards, so. Something's missing up here. Let's put something on there. There's some wavy lines, like stamp lines. We could make it look like a postage card or something. Like aliens are sending a message back home. Right? <laughs> I know, I'm a goofball. I can't help it. all this stuff. I'm going to go into this place and my hands are going to be filthy and they're not going to want me to touch nothing. You know. So while I'm in Springfield, I'm going to make the most of it. Of course, I'm going to go get my Starbucks because I only get that when I go there. <laughs> and I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. Um, I wasn't impressed with the Michaels there. Joanne's is pretty good, but I've kind of got my fill of fabric right now so uh yeah we're good on that okay and then we need to do our number so i'm gonna go in there and see what i'm see what they got in there see if there's anything new any of the new fall stuff so not that I'm doing anything right now, but, you know. Well, that and I'm kind of looking for some stuff. I've got a couple little boxes, cute little boxes. They're small, you know, just some small square boxes that I'm putting some stuff in for uh, a giveaway. So, yay. I think I got to put it the right way, Denise. Yeah, do it right, Denise. Sorry. Yes, I do talk to myself like that some, from time to time. You know, I think we all do. Yeah, that's why I feel so comfortable doing a video. Because I just feel like sometimes I'm just talking. I mean, I'm talking to you guys, but you know what I mean? I'm kind of talking to myself and... Oh, don't put that there, Denise. I'm up with freaking stuff all over everything. Okay. Where are we going to put our tan? Maybe I should do that in black. Do you think? Because that's a pretty dark background. Hmm. Yeah, let me do it in black. Because I'm just afraid it's not going to show. And then I'm not going to get it to line back up. And then I'm going to be like, gosh darn it. You know. I like these little number stamps though. But I am going to look for some other number stamps. i got to find something or something that has numbers other than the same thing over the over time uh, let's put it there ten I'm 
mean, I guess you can kind of see it. Can you see it okay? I think so. Mm -hmm. I wish I had like neon ink. Maybe I should have done it in purple, like, or neon something. I don't even know if I have neon colors. I don't think so, but whatever. It's good. I like it. It's cute. I need to put something over that, though, because it's still wet. Because it's magazine, I think. So, that is 10. And I do believe we have everything on the list, but let's check and make sure. We have an illustration, which is... And I don't know, I think I might have called it an illusion earlier. But, you know, to some people, an illustration can be an illusion, right? Um, so <laughs> wrap your head around that one. So, um, that's the background here, the table. Uh, a person, we actually have two. We kind of made them look a little bit like aliens. I think they do anyway. They look kind of crazy, like some sort of crazy farrier alien I guess I don't know um and then we have something round so we have our two rounds and then sheet music and tissue paper which is the background and then we have our number 10 oh and a shoe why do I keep missing the shoe I just keep jumping so there's the shoe a shoe a shoe a shoe a shoe in right a shoe in <laughs> I know I'm a goofer I'm a goofball Let's see if we can do this without messing that up. All right. That looks like it's fairly dry now. Okay. Because I don't want to close it. So there is 10, right? So, and then we've got our planner here. So we did something different. We did it on the, on the horizontal instead of the vertical. Ugh. So, yeah, so, um, like I said, next month, beginning of next month, which is, I think I've got to fly out in two weeks. So, of course, I'll remind you guys then, but hopefully I'll have a couple of videos up, do some other stuff. Um, you know, it might be a few little projects or something, something cutesy. I don't know. I don't know. What. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to plan too far ahead because then uh, I start getting anx anxious if things don't work out that way. And then I feel like I let you guys down again. And then I start to get, you know, upset at myself. And yeah, we don't want to do that. So, but here pretty soon, I think when I get back from there, I'm going to um, look at getting somebody to come out and quote. Uh, we have to, you know, to be able to enclose that garage, we're going to have to build a new garage. So, outdoor garage, though. Um, a detached one. And find out what that damage is going to be to do that. And then enclose that garage in there. That would be a huge studio for me. But I need to make sure that I can get the appropriate lighting in there. Um, and that kind of stuff. Because, it, um, I don't know, I like the Florida room idea. But the problem is there's windows on like, so it's like this, right? And there's windows here and along that back wall. And then there's a door on this side, which goes leads to outside, which is great because I can open it up or whatever. Problem, I don't have any wall space to hang anything that I need. So, um, yeah, I got to take this. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. That was my lawyer. She's doing the last minute preps on... My LLC, yay! So Wonder Bar Crafts will be officially an LLC. Cool, huh? So anyways, guys, this was week 10. We got everything done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Once again, I appreciate all of you guys for sticking it out and, and coming back and watching with me. Um, or watching me <laughs> make a mess and be goofy again. Uh, but until next time, week 11, I'll talk to you then. Plenty of hugs, loves, and blessings. Mwah. Bye, guys.